Palace Insider accuses Meghan Markle of deliberate attack on royal family. Greetings from Royal Family Lit on my channel. A Palace Insider has accused the Duchess of being responsible for the identities involved in the terrible royal race fight being leaked. The names of the two royals involved in the race row have been leaked, and Meghan Markle has been accused of being the one behind it. Inadvertently mentioned in Dutch editions of Omid Scobie's recently released memoir Endgame, Inside the royal family and the monarchy's battle for survival were King Charles and Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton. Thank you, please share my video. The two, who Ms. Markle had accused of making remarks about her baby Archie's skin tone in a letter to King Charles, were named by Piers Morgan on Wednesday during an uncensored episode, a decision that provoked a lot of criticism. I'm going to sever this garbage. I will reveal to you the identities of the two senior royals mentioned in that Dutch translation of the book. He declared, King Charles and Princess Catherine of Wales are the royals named in this book. The names are unlikely to have originated from Ms. Markle's letter, which is still under lock and key, according to a senior palace insider. The insider told the son, it's vanishingly unlikely the names came from here. A second insider close to the palace maintained that the Sussex camp would be the most likely culprits behind the names that were disclosed. The source stated, that letter is under lock and key, and no one from the king's circle would have briefed anyone about its contents. It's highly likely that the names were leaked by the Sussex camp. It's a nasty and deliberate attack, the person continued. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not yet responded to the leak or the ensuing uproar. It follows after the book's publisher, Xander Publishers, declared on Tuesday that it had received a request from the U.S. to immediately stop the book's sales. I'm not allowed to discuss the specifics, a publishing house spokeswoman stated in a statement. However, we have received a request to halt the title, which we have fulfilled. We're waiting on more guidance. I have no idea how long this will last. In a March 2021 sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey, Ms. Markle initially made the accusation. The ex-actress said there were several discussions over Archie's possible skin tone, but she did not reveal who the supposed conversations were with. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. A startled Winfrey inquired about how dark your baby is going to be, to which Ms. Markle, who is biracial, responded potentially and what that would mean or look like. Harry, 39, declined to provide much more detail when questioned about the remarks made later in the interview. It was awkward at the moment, but I will never talk about the conversation, he remarked. I was a little surprised. What is the royal race row, and why is it back in the news? Greetings from Royal Family Lit on my channel. According to a book, Harry and Meghan's baby son's skin tone was allegedly addressed by royals Charles and Catherine. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex informed Oprah Winfrey that a royal family member had made comments about Prince Archie's skin tone before he was born, sparking the start of the royal race controversy that has persisted for more than two years. It has now erupted again, this time on claims that King Charles and the Princess of Wales are family members who made these kinds of comments, according to the Dutch translation of a recent book. Thank you, please share my video. What claims did the Sussexes make during their interview in 2021? In the interview with the U.S. chat show host, Meghan stated that during her pregnancy with Archie, she had discussed concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born with a member of the royal family. I think it would very damaging to them, Meghan added, declining to reveal the royal's identity. After that, Harry said to Winfrey, I'm never going to share that conversation, but it was awkward at the time. I was taken aback. Meghan said that Archie's mixed-race heritage may have contributed to his first denial of the title of prince and the security protection that accompanied it. Winfrey then revealed that Harry had confided in her that the person in question was not the Duke of Edinburgh nor Queen Elizabeth. Following the death of their great-grandmother, the Queen, and the coronation of their grandfather, Charles, as king, Archie and his sister Lilibet were formally titled prince and princess. What was the royal family's response? A reporter questioned Prince William, is the royal family a racist family, sir? The day after the interview while he was attending an event at an East London school, William gave a curt reply, saying, we are definitely not a racist family. Following two days of crisis negotiations, Buckingham Palace attempted to put the disagreement behind them. In a statement, the Queen said, the problems presented are troubling, particularly that of race. 
Even though some memories can differ, the family takes them seriously and will speak with you in private. Have the Sussexes ever made this assertion again? Days before their much-awaited Netflix docuseries premiered in December 2022, the pair accepted the Ripple of Hope Award from the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Organization for their efforts on mental health and racial justice at a banquet in New York. They didn't follow through on the rumors that they will review their claims on Netflix. Harry left it out of his shocking memoir, Spare, which was published in January 2023. In the Oprah interview, you accused members of your family of racism, said interviewer Tom Brabby during an ITV book promotion. No, I didn't, Harry shot back, adding, the British press said that. Brabby went on to remark that Meghan had mentioned troubling comments about Archie's skin color. There was, there was concern about his skin color, Harry retorted. All right, wouldn't you characterize that as fundamentally racist? Bradby inquired. I wouldn't, having not lived within that family, Harry retorted. Harry continued by outlining his opinions on the difference between unconscious bias and racism.